want to take notes. And if you don't have plans to stay for overtime, make some plans to stay for overtime. I, do, I have so much content today that we're literally going to use overtime like overtime and give you a bunch more. Uh, so the question we're going to start today with this. We're going through the spiritual disciplines. Each one is a little bit different. Each one impacts people different. You're going to like one better than the other. One is going to resonate with you. This is mine. This is the one that just hits me between the eyes, that God resonates with my soul. I'm all about Bible study. Some people are all about prayer. Some people just meet God in fasting. Some people meet God in fellowship. Some people meet God in worship. I meet God in Bible study. It's my primary way that I experience God. And so I want to talk to you today about Bible study, the spiritual discipline of Bible study, the exercise of Bible study, working out your faith in Bible study. So let's start with this. A definition of Bible study. What is Bible study? I came up with my own definition, then we're going to take it apart. Bible study is making the choice under God's direction to methodologically spend time, energy, and concentration to better understand God's work. Okay? Making the choice. Getting to know the Bible better, doing Bible study, is a choice. Anything we do that is challenging requires us to make a choice. It does not happen by chance or by osmosis. Sitting in church, sitting through a sermon, going to various groups and classes does not make you a student of the Bible. You don't need to make the choice to sit. You need to make the choice to pay attention and study. You need to choose to engage your mind Engage your heart and engage your hands in the process. A person has to say, I see value in knowing the Bible. Therefore, I choose to invest my time and my energy and my study into it. It's a choice. Under God's direction. We cannot really know the Bible without God's help. Yes, we can learn about the Bible and the places that the Bible speaks about and the people that the Bible speaks about, but we cannot be impacted truly by the worth of the full weight of God's Word unless He helps us understand. In His letter to us, because it is His letter to us, when He's not involved in reading it, it becomes stale, it becomes fruitless, it's very dry, it's textbook, it's fairy tale, it's story. If we don't come to God before we study it, the Bible becomes foolishness to our ears. It produces nothing but guilt in our hearts. And it just shows us all the ways that we don't measure up. But we seek God when we come to His Word. That inside of that reading, we not only find conviction, but reading the same passage with God's power, we also find wisdom and we find freedom in under God's direction. Methodologically. Now like any other study, Bible study requires a plan. This is a huge stumbling block to some people. Uh, they don't like being told what to do, or they don't like the idea that someone else needs to teach them about the Bible. They want to make it up by themselves. It's my religion. It's my relationship with God. I can design it however I want. I can read the Bible whenever I want. I can do it however I want. I don't need anybody else. But we do need a guide to help us. We do need a plan to complete the task. We do need a system by which we gather the knowledge. And if we come to the Bible without techniques and without tools, we can't say that we're studying it. Any more than a scientist can say they're studying something if they have no equipment or system or process or reports or methodology. We need to have that in place to call ourselves students of the Bible. Time, energy, and concentration. Bible study will take your time. This will probably be the greatest expense to you. Because our time is very valuable. It seems that we would much rather spend any other resource we have other than time. But Bible study will also take your energy. It's not something we can do very well at the end of the day. When we're tired, it will actually require dedicated energy. And it's going to require concentration. We have to choose. Now there's that word again. We have to choose to put concentration into our study. Concentration into our listening. 
Anyone who's ever taken a class knows that you can sit through the class, take the notes, and even do the assignments and not learn anything. Have any, anybody been there? You have no idea what you just spent the last four months doing? To get anything out of Bible study will require you to concentrate on the subject and invest. And finally, to understand God's Word. Our goal is to understand it, not manipulate it to our own purpose. We're not trying to proof text to prove ourselves right. We're trying to understand God's Word so it speaks to us. This is God's Word. He gave it to us. Our agenda is to have God talk to us. Not bring us to it, but have God bring us to an understanding of it. What did He say? What is He saying through? So that's our definition. Let's ask this question. Why is Bible study important? Why is it important? People see the Bible in different ways. Uh, Bruce Bickle and Steve Jans share this list of ways that people see the Bible. And uh, let's say this one. The Bible is. Some people see it as an emotional antacid that you read it only when your life has your stomach tied in knots so you read the Bible to undo your knots. Some people see it as a sleeping pill to cure insomnia. Some people see it as an insurance policy, where you may not have read all the fine print, but you're hoping that if you own one, uh, it'll get you out of trouble at some point. Some see it as a holy book reserved for monks and gurus, or as a storybook filled with fables and fairy tales. Some people see the Bible even perhaps as ancient lit wisdom literature, but it's only pertinent to some bygone era, and it has no relevance today. What is your view of the Bible? Let me encourage you right now, take your pen and finish this sentence. The Bible is... Finish that sentence. I'll give you a minute. The Bible is... 